Yeah, yeah, Shalom Israel, no doubt. We are back. I got my shot with me. Hold on, let me get this uh this thing Israel. Uh we got the brother Masha Yah with us, no doubt. Go ahead and say you say you what's up, Masha. What's up, Israel? Shalom Israel. Peace and greetings and love and all that other friendly stuff, Israel. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right so what we're gonna do today is and we've been plotting this out for a long time israel uh revelation in the 23rd chapter you familiar with that because listen to this now we bringing out revelation the 23rd chapter because uh obviously this deal this is the found in the apocrypha the apocrypha to the apocrypha the hidden books to the hidden books because in revelation 23rd chapter that's where obviously all this shit these camp niggas teach is found all right so we're gonna read it says revelation 22 and 21 the grace of our lord yahushua masha be with you all amen so that's supposed to be the end of the book but we just found it we got the apocrypha to the apocrypha and we're gonna let it go right now so i'll read i'll read my shot i'll read the 19th verse and then you take over this is the problem go ahead wait so wait let me get this straight mm -hmm. we got we got more we finally got the other pieces to the puzzle to complete this thing uh, yeah obviously we obviously we we had to go out and locate the 23rd chapter that's correct this is where you find all that shit joseph was the father you find mexicans in the 23rd chapter you find other colored motherfuckers all of that all right it says it says and if any man shall take away from the words of this book of the book of this prophecy yah shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from things which are written in this book Ooh, so we it's safe to say that it is very very dangerous to play with these scriptures and to them and take them away from them right either way it, it's dangerous it's basically suicide that's what it said um, brother And we're going to see if anybody been doing any adding or taking away from these scriptures. Now, we remind you, this ain't doctrine that me and Red Dower came up with. It's some shit that was flow around Israel before we were even awake. We were still asleep. Worldly as hell, and y'all had all this flow around Israel. So, we ain't started, but... Um, with the help of the Father, if it's His will, we damn sure gonna end it, people. So let's kick it up. All right, so uh, we'll open up to the first chapter of Revelation, uh, and see what the apocryphal Revelation spoke of differently than the than the than the actual Revelation that we have. All right, so in the first chapter. Even though these niggas, now we want to go over something with you all. It says, blessed is he that readeth and they that hear the words of this prophecy. And keep those things that are written therein. For the time is at hand. All right. So Israel, uh, these niggas are always running around. They're running from the fact that all Israel is niggas. They want to add Mexicans and all kind of other bullshit into this. But let's let's see what the Revelation first chapter uh gives as the as the as the physical description of how Masha and then we're gonna let Masha Yah uh take us to Revelation in the 23rd chapter. 
so we can hear what, what, we, what we found in this apocrypha, to the apocrypha. All right, in, in the first chapter of Revelation, the 14th verse, it says, his head and his hairs were white like wool. Like wool. You see this shit? Like wool. Look at this shit. This shit all fucked up. You see that? Love it. All right. Then it says, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. And his voice as the sound of many waters. Now go ahead and read to us out of the out of the apocrypha for 20, 23rd verse, bro. Uh, <laughs> uh, let me see. Uh, George Lopez, great, 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 great granddaddy, and hair like, hey, what is that? Hair like, like beaver, beaver. beaver. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, okay. <laughs> uh, and they were. I can't read the rest of it. You take over. And then they got big words in this twenty-third chapter. Oh, okay. No, nah, it said his head and his hairs were white like beaver, as as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet unto like unto fine brass, as if they did not burn in a furnace. Uh, that's what it says. This is the 23rd chapter. I don't know what you want me to do. I mean, this, this is head and head and shit, people. <laughs> you know what? Only the campus was privy to this knowledge. My head also tell you when they're going to talking about the, the hair like wool, it tell you that he got it from Joseph, his daddy. He <laughs> snuck off with Mary. And and made him in fornication, and that's why his hair was white like that. Hold on, because brother. So, so you you, you child of fornication. Oh, my fault. My fault. I'm sorry. Yeah, oh, I'm sorry, but yeah, oh, my bad. I didn't know you were trying to intervene. Go no, I'm not trying to intervene. I was just wanted to know. So, so, so the the the, the scriptures didn't say that Joseph fucked Mary. Second chapter of Revelation. Okay. In the 23rd, oh, got I got it. I got it. So in the 23rd chapter, that's where we find out that he fucked Mary, right? We find out that Joseph, this just man, was a fornicator. God damn it. He was right here um, having sex with women, then getting them pregnant, and then denying the baby and stuff. Joseph was the first. Um, Dead beat. Episode of Maury. Mm -hmm. He mm -hmm. was the first. He was the first nigga who uh, Michael Jackson got that Billie Jean shit from Joseph. <laughs> and you know what I'm talking about? Joseph hit Mary. Mary told him she was pregnant, and Joseph said, "That baby ain't mine. I'm gonna put it the other way." And you can find that in the 23rd chapter of Revelation. <clears throat> wow. Ain't, ain't that right, Camp? Hmm. Uh, hmm. I'm listening. All right, so you telling me that we done found this apocryphal 23rd chapter of Revelation. You got it on deck right now. All right, well, check this out. Uh, it When it comes back here to the 20, uh, what is it, Revelation in 20, 21, is it? Where it tells us how many gates, how many gates does it have? That's what the scriptures say, but the 23rd verse, chapter says what? It has how many gates? It has um, some additional gates, because we got to make room for the Hispanics and Native Americans, the, the Puerto Ricans, the Cubans. Issachar is an ass crouching between two burdens, so there's Mexico between North America and South America, and uh, yeah, uh, they got over here because of. Yeah, tell me about that. Tell me about that uh, 
that that new element of the doctrine you were telling me about a minute ago. So wait a minute, you tell me you telling me the campus told you or they they, they said it on their video that uh Israel took ships over here through the Barren Straits. They no, they they no. huh? No, the, the white man saying that uh the Native Americans now they walked over here crossing the Barren Strait from Alaska way. The camp was telling us that these niggas took some ships down the Euphrates to the, uh, I guess down to like the Indian Ocean or something around the continent of Africa to the Atlantic Ocean and then they crossed over to the Americas, which took about a year and a half to do. So how did they get up to the, to, to the Barren Straits? Oh, okay. Okay. No doubt. Yeah. Can we no read doubt. any of that? I mean, in the old, te- in the, in the, on the first 80 books, or is it only contained in the 23rd chapter of Revelation? This is only contained in the 23rd. And you niggas better be glad that you privy to this shit. That's what I keep trying to tell you. This is secret camp doctrine that they, they kept covered up. All this time, we turn the light on on this shit now, people. Embrace this shit. This is our true heritage and culture. Yeah, now, Second Ezra chapter 13 tell us that the northern kingdom, let me get it. I don't want to be no damn liar. Let me get this stuff verbatim. Mm-hmm. Mm. Let me see. What we run to Second Ezra chapter 13. We'll pick this up around verse 40. Those are the 10 tribes which were carried away prisoners out of their own land in the time of Osea the king, whom Solomon Nelson, the king of Assyria, led away captive. And he carried them over the waters, and so came they into another land. But they took this counsel among themselves that they would leave the multitude of the heathen. That means get away from everybody who didn't look like they motherfucking ass. And go forth into a further country where never mankind dwell. So ain't nobody there that don't look like them. So if they having sex with anybody over there in this land where no man dwell. Everybody they had sex with, them babies ought to come out still looking like them. Mm. Okay. So now read, now read to us what it say in the 23rd chapter of Revelation. The revealing of the shit that wasn't revealed in the other books. Uh, <laughs> wait, wait a minute. We're going to get to that. Hold up. Uh, just okay. Be patient. You okay. Know okay. Man. Okay. Okay. My verse fault is real. Verse 42. We're going to do everything decent in there. Hold mm-hmm. Verse 42. That they might there keep their statutes, which they never kept in their own land. Okay. I thought 
out they left away <laughs> from everybody else to keep the goddamn commandment. Okay. But, but now you niggas, you niggas, y'all waking up goddamn um, all these years later. Goddamn thousands of years later, y'all gotta wake up and tell these niggas, hey man, you ain't supposed to be eating rabbits, essay. Or, or, or chief. You ain't supposed to be eating them goddamn rabbits. With that down, that's not kosher. They supposed to be, if anything, the Native Americans and shit was supposed to be over here telling niggas, hey, you know y'all the tribe of Judah? You the tribe of Yehuda? Huh? No, you don't supposed to be eating that pork chop. Get them goddamn ribs off that goddamn grill. That's, no, that's not kosher. Why the hell you niggas doing it instead of them teaching us? They supposed to have been keeping the command according to these scriptures. So in Revelation 23rd chapter, what it say? That they were going to be in the land where other people dwelt, where it was going to be a melting pot. You can basically find everything you want <laughs> in one section of the earth. <laughs> and you can hump and bump anything you want to and make all the little babies you want to. And mm. they all going to be Israel. It's right before the end. Mm. Mm. <laughs> wow. Wow. So, so now listen to this, Israel. This 23rd chapter of Revelation is mind blowing. All the shit that you never heard in the first 80 books uh, and 22 chapters, 22 chapters is found in this 23rd chapter. That's what the brother's telling us. See, I ain't seen it myself. My Shah, he, he went and got this book from these campers or whatever. You power, for now. You got damn power. I ain't gonna get the book from nobody. Oh, okay. I yeah. thought maybe you had it. It was no, nah, hell no, nah, I thought you had it. <laughs> oh, what goddamn book can we read? I don't know, brother. That's a good question. Wait a minute, let me ask you this. Are you telling me all right, that you're not certain it's the twenty third chapter? If you ain't got them getting a uh, hundred thousand subscribers and views on your videos, then they ain't fucking with us. <laughs> and, and if we ain't doing our three videos a week, you know what I'm saying? Goddamn, they ain't fucking with us. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. what I said, but we ain't got to feel the most happy. We got to feel feel him. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, I'm blowed. Yeah, Listen, yeah, I'm blowed yeah, away, Israel, because I, I personally never knew it was the 23rd chapter. I never knew that. I thought right here, as we just read, where it said uh, uh, in the 20, 20, uh, second chapter, 21st verse, the grace of our Lord, Yahweh Mashiach, be with you all. Amen. I thought that was it. So now I'm being, I'm finding out that we have a whole nother book. And I'm sorry, because I couldn't bring that out to y'all. I'm just hearing about it. Now we know the father don't deal in partiality. So that's my fault. I've been partial in only bringing you the first 22, 22 chapters of Revelation. So I put that on me. Yeah. <laughs> 
like that. Yeah. What the fuck is he a demon devil? Uh huh. Uh huh. How the fuck you gonna tell me not to do something that your ass doing? Besides, your daddy is a double minded hypocrite. How the fuck he gonna tell your semi white ass? Don't you go fuck with no white girl, cause you know they the devil. Your daddy basically told you, nigga, you have devil. So I, I uh. I understand now, brother, because me and you didn't have privy to the 23rd chapter. I understand now. See, that's what that's my fault, Israel. I'm sorry. And you have to forgive me, Heavenly Father, for not being up on the knowledge of the 23rd chapter of Revelation. Forgive us, but we know that the 23rd chapter of Revelation. We know that <laughs> we know that you that you gave you gave unto John this uh let's read it in the in in, in the first in the first verse of the 20 revelation it says uh it says the revelation of Hamajawashah Mashaak which Yahweh gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass and he sent and signified it, it by his angel unto his servant john so uh i understand now that that that, that, that this revelation is, is greater and more magnified now because the 23rd chapter has been located so i i thought we were gonna bring we were gonna be able to bring that out to you all but i see my shot don't have it and i never had it so go ahead brother Second here, just chapter 14. I was looking at this while you was talking. Um, verse 10. For the word has lost its youth, and the times begin to wax old. But the word is divided into 12 parts, and the 10 parts of it are done already, and half of a 10th part. And there remaineth that which is after the half of the 10th part. Now, therefore, set thine house in order and reprove thy people. Comfort such of them as be in trouble. And now, renounce corruption. And that's what, what we got going on, Redow. Mm -hmm. uh, comfort such of them as be in trouble. These niggas troubling our sisters, telling them that they can't wear pants or they some dots and some hoes. But they got down, got their little women pants on. We comfort them. Y'all go check out the video if you ain't seen. It. And then we got these niggas denouncing, uh, uh, telling sisters they can't wear pants now. So I don't know where the hell this shit came from. I guess I've been dreaming all this time. The past two and a half years, I just been dreaming of niggas telling sisters that they can't wear motherfucking pants they need to go home like stop talking to me i just woke you up right i told you you're an israelite right and we just showed you these scriptures that a woman ain't supposed to wear that which pertain to a man right okay now what you need to do sister take your ass home take off them pants go put your dress on then come back down here and sit before us mm. uh, and then whole ass niggas you know the type that like to throw rocks and then hide your motherfucking fingers and your little puck ass hands them niggas, they washing their hands with this shit now. Oh, no, nah, we don't teach that foolishness and shit like that. But guess what, whole ass nigga? That's why I love the father, because he don't play that wishy washy shit just like me. Goddamn, uh, you standing with niggas. House of Israel, uh, Sakari, uh, Watchmen for Israel. All you niggas that hear these punk ass unity camps, goddamn. What about y'all sit here? Uh, I know for a fucking fact. The House of Israel and um, Watchmen for Israel sitting here telling sisters flat out, uh, take them I mean, take them pants off and put dresses on, and shit like that. So wait a minute, brother. So wait a minute, brother. So wait a minute, brother. You telling me in the twenty third chapter is where is where we find uh, that it says pants? That's exactly where you gonna find. Hmm. Shit, you can't find that shit nowhere but in the 23rd chapter. Mm. Wow, I'm blown away, brother. I'm blown away. Now, now, did this. now hold up, because mm -hmm. these niggas, um, that Yada dude, this, uh, the leader of the Sakara camp, 
down there in Dallas. This one for you, nigga. I ain't no Negro, only Israelite. Nigga, you talking to my shy, y'all? Say my goddamn name, homeboy. You talking to Redow? Say his name. That's how we get down, boy. Goddamn, don't be with that speaking in general shit. Now you trying to wash your hands. Now you calling this this shit um foolishness. What about uh these niggas telling the sisters they can't wear pants? Well, why you niggas holding unity camps with these niggas if you think this shit foolishness? Why you ain't checking these niggas about they foolishness? Like the scriptures told you in Ephesians 5.11. Hmm. 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 We want to hear the answer to that. But no doubt, Israel, we thought we'd just bring you a, a little a little private information, tell you about it's been it's been understood that the 23rd chapter of Revelation has been found and we brought out a conversation with you all to kind of get into, you know, the content right. therein. So wait a minute, let me ask you this. So in the 23rd chapter, that's is that where we find uh, weed and all that shit? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, gotta be. Uh-huh. And then these feet, let's talk about these feast days too, real quick. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I host them. Uh, apparently, the most high, he enjoying their feast days in the 23rd chapter of Revelation. Mm-hmm. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, then Amos, the father said that he hates and he despised your feast day. That's what he said. And That's what I thought. <laughs> but all you niggas up here trying to leak up and meet up out of town and shit and fellowship with these wicked ass niggas. I'm done. Right, that's the end of that train third chapter. I'm done. I don't even want to say no more. I think I'm hurting people's feelings right about now. They might want to do something to me. All right, Israel. <laughs> Revelation 23rd chapter. The apocryphal to the apocryphal. Shalom. The hidden books to the hidden books. 